Supermarkt. 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 Well now, the Malcolm McDonald Derby and the Newcastle United nil, Arsenal two. But it shouldn't have been, should it? Newcastle just didn't take their chances today. No, they certainly couldn't. The Arsenal keeper uh, was making all kinds of saves, but still there were chances. A lot of chances made in the first half. Uh, and I, I, it was just one of those days where nothing seemed to uh, go into the net. And then it, all it needed was just a couple of mistakes. And they were they was really silly mistakes. Um, the, the, the second one, that was the killer blow, absolute killer blow. And uh, Shah should have done a lot better on the near post. And Pope couldn't deal with it. Um, so in it went, made it 2-0. And then Eddie Howe, I think he realised that was it. The game was all over and he just put a load of subs on to give them a good run out. Um, but uh, yeah, I found it, I found it disappointing. I wasn't, I wasn't overly impressed with Arsenal at all. Um, and I thought that Newcastle and Spells did very, very well. But it's a question of sticking, it, sticking the ball in the net, the onion in the older onion bag. So uh, yeah, I, so I felt very disappointed. Very disappointed indeed, and I'm sure everybody else was, um, because it wasn't as if we got well beat. We, that wasn't the case at all. We did say before the game that Odegaard, we had to get a hold of him. He, he did dominate at times, um, and he found his space so easily. Well, yeah, and this was the problem, that uh, for the first goal, that uh, he was 12 yards outside the box, and there wasn't a defender, anybody defending in front of him for those 12, 14 yards. And uh, it just allowed him to set his shot up perfectly as he wished. Uh, and uh, he struck it well, but nevertheless, it still went through legs and what have you. And I thought that uh, um, Botman, um, he could have done better. He has this tendency, because he's left footed, to put his left foot across his right leg and so he's got no stretch doing it that way. You, if you're going to block, block it with your, with your right foot. Um, you know, it's not as if you're needing the skillful foot just for a block. Um, but he does have this tendency and it, it limits him in what he's doing. And it looks awkward, it looks poor. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm afraid that the centre-halves, they made a mistake each today. And they were costly, both of them. Um, but otherwise, I thought we, we did okay. Particularly in the first half, we made a lot of chances, and the keeper was brilliant, their defending was good, and we just couldn't find that final touch to knock it in. It's always difficult to judge these kind of things when you're playing a big game like this, but we talked pretty much about Wilson and Isaac playing together. They had 78 minutes on the pitch together. What did you make of that partnership, and can you see that? moving forward into the Leeds game next week? I certainly can. I thought Isaac was showing some remarkable skills out there. He really was in taking players on. And he'll find it a lot easier against Leeds than he did today against Arsenal. Arsenal, are, they're all very athletic and very well organised. So I thought that he was doing very, very well indeed. Um, and Wilson, Wilson is Wilson. He, 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 we know he's a a very good finisher. He's, he, he's a danger man in the, in the opposing penalty area for us. But the stuff wasn't coming to him today as it has been in other games. So, uh, you know, and he's, he's had a remarkable scoring record in the last five weeks. You know, so just now and again, there's a game that passes you by as the old scorer. Watch the decisions back. The VAR decision was right for a change. But overall, Chris Kavanagh, the referee, I've got to be honest, I thought another bad official again, backed up by another bad, bad, bad linesman. I, I just, I just think the two of them today, the guy on the right hand side, I just think, I think poor, poor officials today. And that wasn't just for Newcastle, it was for us. I mean, he let, he let people get away with murder. The goalkeeper was time wasting. I'm sure Arteta probably had a word. He felt we were doing that at the Emirates. But what did you make of the referee today? 
Yeah, um, what, what, I think what annoyed me most of all was that every time there was the slight, slightest physical contact, the Arsenal player just dropped to the ground like a man of shite. And, um, and, and, and stayed there, writhed, um, and, uh, and the referee just let it happen, let it happen over and over and over again. And it was obvious that, that most of the times the players weren't injured at all, but he let them away with it, did nothing about it, and all you've got to do is one very simple thing for a referee to do is go over there and show a yellow card and nobody will do it again. You know? and, uh, and he didn't do it. He didn't take that opportunity. He didn't take the opportunity with a goalkeeper um, taking his time. You know, and, oh, and the, oh, yes, yes, also all of that. The time wasting by Arsenal, and you know the ridiculous thing, at, at the end of the second half, there were six minutes to be added. Well, there had been a goal score, that's 30 seconds. Um, there had been substitutions, a number of them. That's, yeah, five for Newcastle and probably the same for Arsenal, and that's 30 seconds each. You know, so you've got, so you, you're into three, four minutes there. Um, and don't tell me that all that time wasting only earned Newcastle two minutes of extra time. Um, I, yeah, I found it very, very poor officiating. Um, and, and, and I just got the feeling that sometimes the referee almost wanted to join in with, with Arsenal attacks. He, yeah, he was all the time. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought it was... Uh, a bit extreme to say the least, and uh, no, I was very, very disappointed with them. Very, um, and it makes it makes it incredibly difficult when you're out there to play against that. You know, you want to get the momentum going, and Arsenal were just killing that off all the while, and the referee was allowing it. Bad referee. One of the match today for you for uh, Newcastle. For me, I thought Isaac was probably my man of the match. I also thought Trippi had a good game. I do think as well, to be honest, the man of the match for me, probably Jesu on, on Arsenal as well. He had a really good game. I don't think, I don't think you see enough of Jesu as a player when you're watching it on the TV, but when you watch him in a match, you watch him live. He, he defends from the front, and he was the reason I think Arsenal did a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, he is a good player. Um, and I agree with what you say there. Um, with regards to uh, to Newcastle, I, I still will say that they miss Longstaff. Um, I'm sure of that. They, they miss Longstaff a lot. Um, when, when Longstaff is in the side, uh, um, one or two players they, in the midfield, they go right off. Um, and Bruno today especially um, looked, he had a very poor game, very poor game indeed. Uh, kept getting caught in possession, and um, well, yeah, something wrong. Um, but if I had to, yeah, if I've got to pick a man of the match, um, it, I think the, the outstanding player in the Newcastle side was Isaac. Showed some great skills at times, wonderful skills with runs, um, getting the ball into the box, and nothing was really coming of it. But that's not to deny the fact that he was getting it in there brilliantly. Leeds United away next week. Fat Sam, Big Sam Allardyce, who of course we all know is better than Arteta, better than Pep. According to him anyway. Um, massive game this for Leeds next week, but Newcastle should have more than enough to go and give them a big scud next week, shouldn't they? Oh, the will on the back. Yeah, but well. Sam isn't going to make um, a, a massive change overnight. You know, when, um, I watched him against Manchester City yesterday, um, and, and until the last few minutes, Man Manchester City, um, th 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 they were just passing for fun. And Leeds could not get the ball off them. And in fact, they weren't really trying to get the ball off them. They weren't closing them down at all. They were leaving it, leaving them in massive space. So if Newcastle go and play, play like that, then, then fine, and they'll make better chances than Man City did. Um, I was just surprised at the end that Man City, when when uh, 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 when 
uh, Leeds got a goal back, that Man City just seemed to fall apart. So uh, that would have given Leeds confidence, but not enough to uh, take on Newcastle United. So I'm, I'm going for a win there. I uh, seriously am. And we really only need two more wins, considering the goal difference that we've got. Two more wins and we'll be in the Champions League. And next season, when we play Arsenal, it'll be for the Premier League and we'll beat them. Yeah. Yeah. Next time we're in is for Brighton and for Leicester. Put your hands together for the legend, Supermark. 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 Supermark.